All right, number five. If you are building a pod style gym, the number five tip I have for a little tool that'll make your life easier is foam pads, all right? Airx pads for kneeling. You can use them for squeezing. You can make people more comfortable, put their head on this. But I think you should have a few different foam pads, right? You'll see these two, these are different size. This is a called Yes For All off Amazon. Couple tips, number one, I always buy colored pads. Bright colors, not black. That's because when you have a mat down there and black flooring like I've had at my gym, some folks won't notice that there's a pad laying there and it becomes a tripping hazard. So I always get bright blue, bright purple, whatever color they have other than black, okay? So I like this purple one. Now, for a long time, I used this size. I thought this was the best. But I'm slowly becoming a fan of a little bit smaller of a pad because most of what we do on it is kneeling. So this size is fine. And I found this one on Amazon. It's kind of interesting if you're doing rehab. They sell it as a set of two pads with a big Velcro piece <clears throat> to make it a single pad. Kind of cool, um, but this size I think is fantastic. And these pads are typically cheaper, whereas AirX brand, it's definitely got more gel but this was a $60 pad. These two together were 25, so make your decision. They are nice though. All right, so foam pads, I really love it, and I think you, you need multiple. You can't just have one or two, but definitely for every pod, if you have a bench, you have a pull-up bar, you wanna have at least one kneeling pad in there. Kneeling exercise is the biggest bang for the buck that gets overlooked in most rehab gyms. Thanks so much for checking out these videos. I hope they're useful. We'll cover things like rehab, exercise, business model, progressions, layout, everything else that helps you build a clinic. So if you're interested, you can click here, there to get more videos just like this.